this is a phase lock loop in Excel. Is a model created with uh, mainly with spreadsheet formulas in this area on columns D to K, and um, you can start it from here. It's a macro, a copy paste macro. <coughs> what you have here, you have an input signal, the sinusoidal signal, and the signal from a voltage control oscillator. They mix here into a multiplier which uh, has the role of a phase detector. The output of the multiplier gets amplified with a variable preset gain. You can change it from here. Uh, KPD. And it goes into a low pass filter. Then the output of that low pass filter again gets adjusted a little bit amplified and it goes into the VCO whose frequency is dependent on this input. Also you have a noise. You can put noise here as a, an additive parameter. This is the input frequency. You can compare it, you'll see here, compared to the free running frequency of the VCO, F0 VCO, which is 10, 10 Hz. <coughs> the input frequency now is 9.8 uh, hertz. So now the VCO will try to track this frequency. If we change it, see, the VCO will try to keep close. Let's, re let's eliminate the noise, it just uh, bothers us. So um, the signal you see here on the virtual oscilloscope is the out LF, the, the output of the low pass filter and uh, you can change various parameters here you can change the RC value the time constant of the filter make it less selective now the signal is much dirtier it's not so clean I mean it uh, passes a significant amount of high pass filter but it locks much easier this oscillates so much you can also increase or decrease the two gains here. Say decrease the gain. If we decrease this uh, KVCO here, you see the loop goes out of lock. So the lock rate, the lock bandwidth decreases, and of course the capture bandwidth will decrease too. And uh, we need to increase the frequency in order to lock. Very very hard to lock. Now it's locked. So about 0.2 Hz on each side will lock, but not more. I'm changing, I'm constantly changing the input frequency. See how this tracks. Now if I change one more notch up, it's going to get out of lock. Yes. This delta F is essentially the time step for changing this input frequency. Another two features you have here is the phase detector. It's pretty much a Lisa Zhu display. You have 90 degrees when you have a circle, and you have 0 degrees when you have a segment at 45 degrees. I'm talking about the difference in phase between the output of the VCO and the input. So you see, it's fixed. The frequency is the same, and the phase is fixed. If we are out of lock, you see the frequency difference changes all the time. So you're not really tra tracking the input frequency. Let's drop two notches. And now the phase difference between the input and the VCO is constant. About 45 degrees, somewhere around that area. This is a um, spectral indicator. You can put it on linear, you see linear here, or logarithmic. You just click on this button. Also, this spread, this spread is just uh, how the frequency point on which this function is calculated, spectral function is calculated, how they are distributed around the input frequency. You can make a uniform distribution here. Also, let's put it on uh, linear. 
and uh, you see here some kind of averaging factor you can put it zero and you see a cardinal sinus and um, this is essentially the resolution of the spectral indicator you see the mirror of the signal coming here put it back on max resolution and uh, also average sum it takes a while to do any change here it takes a while to update now you are out of lock again but it is a pretty nice model here as you can see is the the numerical scheme implemented right here is the phase indicator formula area and the spectral monitor formulas are here so up here I still left unclean some of these templates used to create all this uh, uh, this graphical interface So um, that's pretty much about it. You can play with all these parameters. You can uh, anytime stop it. So let's uh, start again. Uh, you reach this point, you stop it, you save it, come in an hour, come in a day, in a year. You can restart the model exactly from the same point. You can download this for free and also uh, detailed tutorial how to make a model like this on my blog excelunusual.com come over leave a comment and uh, if you have any suggestions write down thanks for watching